tell a big enough lie and tell it frequently enough, it will be believed. In the Bible it never says that the earth is round. There are only clues that it is a circle and that it is flat. And Elohim said, let there be firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And Elohim made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And Elohim called the firmament heaven. And the evening and the morning were the second day. Genesis chapter 1 verse 6 to 8. Here we find that God created the expanse of the heavens by separating the waters which were under the firmament, the expanse, from the waters which were above the firmament. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons. Genesis chapter 1 verse 14. Check out this image that looks like a glass ball terrarium. This explains why the sky is blue, because of the water we are seeing above the firmament and not of the reflection of the waters below. The conclusion is that there is a separation with water below and above us, like a glass-like crystal or diamond dome separating these waters. It could not be any clearer. There is water both below and above us. So the sun stood still and the moon stopped, until the nation avenged themselves of their enemies. Is it not written in the book of Jashar? And the sun stopped in the middle of the sky and did not hasten to go down for about a whole day. Joshua chapter 10 verse 13 This passage of the Bible clearly states that the earth does not move. The moon and the sun are moving above us and are flat, disc-like, luminous objects. The spinning or the rotation of Earth is not congruent with the movement of bullets, cannonballs and planes and other things that move very fast. The Earth rotates 1,000 miles per hour at the equator and stands still on both poles. The closer you get to the poles, the slower you move. But why don't we notice this? If I light a match on the equator of a moving ball moving 1,000 miles an hour, I should see the flame blowing to one side, should I not? And if I light a match on the poles, it should not be moving at all. But why does this not happen? And why do planes or other vehicles moving the same speed as the rotating Earth not stand still if they are moving the opposite direction of the rotation? The same applies for the speed of sound. The Earth spins faster than the speed of sounds. So why do we not hear somebody talking when facing the spinning direction? And why don't we feel a different g-force when standing on the equator and standing on the poles? You should say we would fly off the earth ball if it was spinning that fast. Another strange coincidence that I found out is how come we see the sun and the moon at exactly the same size, whereas the sun is 400 times larger than the moon and also 400 times further away. This is an extraordinary coincidence that it is exactly 400 times bigger and 400 times further away, which I don't think is possible. This means the sun is always exactly the same distance from us, from us in comparison to the moon. For us to see them both as the same size. And because we are moving in an elliptic way around the sun, we should have definitely see the sun sometimes much bigger or much smaller than the moon. Things like this just don't add up or make sense. It cannot all be just one big coincidence. For these reasons, it would not be possible to get a man on the moon. The moon landing was surely a hoax. 
1969 the technology was not there to get live video images from the moon to earth. Those images were supposedly sent by radio telemetry back to earth. The problem arose due to the fact that NASA used a format of video called slow scan TV. If you look at the moon landing again and pay attention to the camera angles, you can see three or more camera angles and the light coming from all directions. And how come meteors get burnt up entering the Earth's atmosphere in the mesosphere? And the space shuttle got past this mesosphere without any burn marks. And why don't we see real photos from space of the Earth? Only computer animated images, NASA Photoshop images of the Earth and videos like these shown on YouTube are filmed with round lenses, so it appears that the Earth is round. And what's up with this Antarctic Treaty? The Antarctic Treaty signed by 53 countries which state that no one can go beyond 60 degrees of either poles without permission. Why is that? They say global warming, but is global warming also not a hoax? What are they trying to hide from us?